Greetings, my subscribers, my bros, my bastards who are beautiful, and my little lollies that oodle. I have returned. For those of you out of the loop, I just took some time off just to press the reset button. While I was away, I learned new recipes, bought new cooking and camera equipment, studied more about filming my videos, three-point lighting, and I even ran a YouTube skeptic channel named Ramsey the Second on the side. My Little Pony the movie just came out on home video. I have watched it, and it's everything I feared. It is another ploy in the SJW takeover of Hollywood. And I know exactly what they're going to say. Women are underrepresented in film. Actresses and female filmmakers are reduced to sex objects by executives. Oh, how rational. Blame the entire male gender, why don't you? The key is speaking a British accent, giving your misogynistic vinyl the illusion of intelligence. Now that we're all caught up, let's begin. Steak and chimichurri is not only an easy and delicious recipe, but it's a dish that, and this is true, I wasn't expecting to make while I was away. You see, I bought some steak at Sam's Club, froze, then thawed it, used a portion of it, then put the rest back in the fridge. Because meat that has been thawed twice tastes and smells ungodly funky. So thinking about what to do with the remaining beef, steak and chimichurri came to mind. And now I'll show you how to make a non-frozen and non-salmonella-y version. The first thing we're gonna make is the sauce. I'll explain why later. We're gonna assemble the sauce in a food processor. Link in the description if you need one. Here are the ingredients. One bunch of parsley. Four cloves of garlic. Three tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Two teaspoons of kosher salt. One teaspoon of cumin. One teaspoon of oregano. One teaspoon of freshly cracked black pepper. Turn on the food processor and let it run until the mixture is nice and chopped up. Once it is, move it to a bowl. Finally, add half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Milady. Why didn't I add the olive oil straight into the food processor? Because then we'll be making an aioli. And tell me, where on the video's thumbnail do you see the word aioli? Damn right. So just cover it in plastic wrap and store it in the fridge. The reason why we wanted to make the sauce first is because we want all the flavors to meld together. Think of it like a romantic relationship. You have to take time to get to know each other. If you rush into it, it'll be a bland, loveless experience. Aunt Carol. Now let's get to the meat of the matter. Oh, stop booing. You just wish you saw the pun. The perfect cut of meat is sirloin flap steak. As you can see, it has a lovely fat to muscle ratio. So we just need to season the meat. We're gonna keep it nice and simple. Sprinkle it with some kosher salt. Some freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm taking a page from Chef John from Food Witches and adding just a touch of cayenne pepper. Remember, just a touch. The stuff can get pretty spicy. Flip them over and do the other side. We're gonna be cooking the steaks on a grill. Don't have one? Well, if your grill has one of these long center burners, just grab a cast iron griddle 
and use the grill side. Don't have that either? Just use a regular cast iron grill pan. You have no excuse. Whatever option you use, whether it be a grill or a grill pan, you have to set the heat to medium high. Okay, the grill is ignited, let it heat up for a bit. Grill's all nice and hot. Let's place our meat on it. And while the steaks cook, crack open a nice cold beer. Okay, this is soda. I have to drive someone to the airport later. Now, when your steaks turn brown around the edges like this, it's time to flip them. All right, after about five minutes, the steak should be ready. So just take them off the grill and put them on a wooden cutting board to cool down. Another thing about the steak, don't cut into it when it's hot. Because if you do, all the juices will run out, leaving you with a dry steak. I make another marriage analogy, but my Aunt Carol already has one big fat blowhard in her life. Two if you count her mailman. Chop up the steak, top it off with our sauce, and enjoy. Mmm. God, it tastes good. But now it's good as being back on YouTube. This has been Chase Gun Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Hey, CRJ here. If you liked the video, smash that like button. If you really liked the video, perhaps subscribing and maybe hitting the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Also, I'll be at VidCon 2018 in Anaheim. Hope to see you there.